how to share with a bear. I hope you have a bear to share with. One cold day, Thomas gathered some pillows and blankets and made a warm, cozy cave. Everyone knows that bears like berries, so Thomas made a trail of blueberries leading away from the cave. Then he waited. Sniff, snort, snuff. Soon enough, the bear bumbled through the hall, bustled down the stairs, and disappeared. Quick as he could, Thomas got his favorite books and rushed back to the cave. Too late, the bear was already there. Caves never stay empty for long. Bears love to scratch their backs on trees. So Thomas found his mom's wooden back scratcher, gave himself a good scratching, and then set the scratcher down outside his bedroom door. The bear shuffled out to grab it. Scritch, scratch, scrooch. Thomas crawled into his cave and started to read until a floating tuft of bear fur tickled his nose. Achoo! He went to get a tissue. When he turned around, the bear was in the cave again. Bears love to fish in streams, so Thomas filled the sink and dropped in some bath toys. Splish, splash, blink. The bear came running. Thomas barely got comfortable in his cave before he heard a new noise. Gurgle, burble, blink. The bear must have turned the water back on. Thomas went to shut the faucet off. The bear passed him in the hall. Bears like honey, so Thomas set out a bowl of honey oat cereal in the kitchen. He put on his honeybee costume and said, Bzzz, as loud as he could. Then he dashed away, flapping his arms, leading the bear downstairs. The bear smelled the honey and stopped to gobble up the cereal, while Thomas hurried to his cave. At last he could read. That's when the bear came back. When he saw Thomas in the cave, he tried to snuggle in next to him. But the cave was too small, and the bear started to cry. Thomas felt sad for tricking the bear. You can read too, he told him. Come and look. Thomas tried to make more room by pushing out the walls. Cave in! Thomas poked his head out, and the bear giggled. Thomas grinned. Let's build a bigger cave, he said. We can share. Thomas huddled with the bear in their big new cave. They shared a, bit, a bowl of blueberries. They shared a good book. And Thomas learned that bears like one thing even more than fish or blueberries or honey. They like their big brothers. I hope you can build a cave with your favorite bear. And on this page, it shows you exactly how to do it.